This video is brought to you by... Wait for it. Wait for it. It's coming. Oh no, I'm dead. Wait, I'm alive. 3 HP. <laughs> Reaction didn't go anything like that, but... Come on, you all thought I was dead. I did too. Until I checked my HP and smacked him down for 58. Heck yeah. Huge news today, guys. I came across this dev vlog created by Mod Ash titled, What Shall We Do Next? And this is regarding a few different topics. One being Wildy Tags, PvP Worlds, Clan Wars, The God Wars Dungeon. If you want to check out the full post, link it down below. But I'm going to be focusing on the Wildy Tag. They were actually working on this back in 2006. Yeah, guys, like seven years ago, this should have been released in RuneScape. It just never was. The idea was that some posts would be added to various locations in the wilderness that could be tagged. Hence the hugely imaginative name, Wildy Tag. Players would enter the wilderness, run around and tag as many posts as they could without being killed, just like in the Brimhaven Agility Arena. As you guys can see here, there's points located throughout the entire wilderness, with three different levels of risk, red being the highest, yellow being the middle one, and then green being the lowest. It makes sense because the green ones will be easier to get to, lower wilderness setting, you can't be attacked by higher level players, but of course up here at 50s, you can be a level 60 and a 100 can run up to you and DDS spec you probably in one hit. So it's definitely a lot more dangerous out here. And they've laid this out really well. I can't tell you the last time that I saw a player just chilling over here. It reminds me of the BH days. That, would give, that was the only reason people would be hiding in these corners of the wilderness was to get AP. And this update will give people a reason to travel to these places in the wilderness that weren't active at all prior to this update. So continuing here, this is kind of what I was just talking about. The reward was designed to draw a typical player into the wilderness with the typical risk versus reward gameplay. Meaning, if we look at the wilderness now, it's just PKers going out to kill other PKers at common spots. They're pretty dead, let's be honest. This will give people that don't even PK a reason to go out here to make money, to get XP. Whatever the reason is, people will be going out there for those reasons. Plus, on top of that, it's going to be fun as heck. Trust me, if they do this update right, it will work, guys. This is what the wilderness has needed for years. They've got the grasp on the idea to make this work so well. Now, let's make it more interesting and say that these tokens would be dropped on death so PKers could hunt players who were collecting them. Assuming the PKer could then escape with the loot, they could hand in the tokens to take the reward for themselves if another PKer didn't come and loot it off them first. So after looking at the concept from 06, they had a few tweaks and suggestions to make it work better in 2013, and here they are. Our first thoughts were that we could ramp up the rewards significantly for tagging increasing numbers of posts. For example, let's suppose you tag one post and get one token. You could then leave the wild immediately and hand in the token for your reward. Alternatively, you could go on and tag another post, keywords without leaving the wilderness, and get two tokens. Pretty much the longer you stay in the wilderness tagging these and getting tokens, the more money you're going to make, the more it's going to be worth. The original reward was going to be combat XP each time you tagged a post. In our version, however, we think that perhaps it would be more interesting if the post gave out tokens that could be exchanged for coins or other material rewards instead, so that PKers would have something to loot and to make the increase in rewards more exciting. Imagine facing the decision of handing in your tokens now for 500k, or staying in the wilderness to risk it all while it's going for one more post to double and get the million. It seems like this will be sort of like the Brimhaven Agility Arena where only a certain ones have an arrow over them and you'll be able to go to those for the tokens and other ones will not, so you'll have to be looking around to find these which will make it even that much more fun. And they explain a little bit here. This could be done by having the post move around slightly, still within a reasonable area, but enough so that it's not in the same exact place. So actually what they're saying here is these posts will move, I guess. But um, yeah, I think that's how they'll do it. They're not going to have every single post taggable for a token. It'll only be certain ones at a certain time. Next is PvP Worlds. Now, they mentioned that they're not going to bring back any sort of EP system. They would prefer to see what we PK actually being PK'd. So if you kill someone for full dragon, you're going to get the full dragon. You're not going to get a generated drop. And I remember back in these PvP days, I killed someone for full Darok, like Max Gear, expecting something, but I had no EP, so I got Salmon. 
and it sucks because I just killed him for bank and I got nothing. Now, I feel that these updates will work as long as the correct incentives are there. And they've even thought it out pretty well for the PvP worlds. It's been suggested that there could be an XP uplift for training certain skills on a PvP world, perhaps restricted so that people can't alk or fletch for hours in a hidden place that no one can access to kill them. Additionally, we can reintroduce brawler gloves as a reward, or maybe even valuable statuettes. Whoa. <laughs> Remember guys, if you're excited for these updates, give this video a like. I think old school is about to get a little bit bigger. Until next time guys, I'll leave you with this kill. Got him with the Vengeance and the Darok X. The Granite Maul was a seal of deal, but he was already dead. Take care guys, thanks for watching my vid, and I will see you all very soon in another vid. Don't forget, if you want to check out the dev blog, it's linked down below. I know I didn't go into the God Wars details and whatnot, Clan Wars. I did try to mention PvP and the Wildy tag, so there's more. Go and check it out, guys. <laughs>